Today, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. No drawing, nothing like that. Well, I'll do something very different in that case. And I really enjoyed the other day making a Witcher replica thing, so I thought I'd do something a bit like that again. But instead of making something from the Witcher, make something hobbity, which I thought it was a good idea and a cool thing to be doing. So I thought I'd make some Lambus bread. I thought I should dress for the occasion. Um, but obviously I know Lambus bread is an elven thing. I'm not the most elvish looking person. So I thought I'd dress, try and dress like a hobbit and just have some fun. Now, a minute ago, I read the recipe. I turned the cups into a weight because you can't, I don't know how you do it with butter and a cup. And turns out I don't have enough butter. So I'm halving everything and gonna make tiny aversions, I hope. So let's get on with it. I've cleaned my hands. I don't know what I'm showing you, you can't see that. Um, first thing, <coughs> it says preheat the oven. Oh, yeah. It says cream together the butter and sugar or honey and flour. Okay, so half a cup. Cats on them. So that much, surely. I'm going to mess this up. This is going to be inedible. But it's worth a try. Oh, sugar. Uh, can you see that? How do I get it in? There's the cup. Oh, bowl, butter, butter, bowl. It's a lot of butter. I don't know. This recipe I got on offline. If I will put it below if you're interested. It has a lot of butter in it. I've done it before and it was fine. So if this goes wrong it's not a a um measurement of how this recipe is and then cream together. So I'm very sure I'm hobbit height, but that's not helpful for this video. What they, uh, I just, that's better, I'm further away now. Um, I don't know how to cream butter with sugar. I think the butter's still a bit hard. So, creaming together the flour and the butter, which is one of my favorite jobs. And I believe this is one of the things where you have to get your hands involved, which, I will hate because I hate being anything along the lines of sticky or anything like that. Can you see? Is that good? Am oh, I doing it right? How much flour? It says two cups of flour, so that's one cup because I'm halving it. All the recipes you find for this type of thing, and the flowers on the side, um, are all American. Um, in American measurements even. I don't know if they're American, but they're all in cups. Does that mean you only get American elves? This, this is very boring. I'm just stood here spooning, and you can't even see it, stood here spooning flour into a cup, because I'm terrified that if I pour it, there will be flour everywhere. Bowl. I'm standing on my tiptoes. I can't the tips of my toes and so I can't oh flower flower in the bowl and, right I made these before and they were massive so making less and making them smaller maybe that will work better suitable surface I need to find my suitable surface we have a big rubber mat and you put Find it. 
and my suitable surface. It was in the drawer where it always is, which I didn't. Oh, it's got something sticky on the back. Oh, I hate being sticky. Got to knead it a bit and pour it out onto the the suitable surface and all that good stuff so I'm going to move the camera so you can see it better I genuinely do not know about this it's, it doesn't feel like the right type of consistency it's oh, it's very sticky I'm going to have to put flour on the suitable surface knead until quite smooth for about five minutes add a bit of flour if necessary to keep the dough from sticking so that's not bad that looks hello that looks like it could be something which is great it could look worse the house is still standing, I've not burnt it down, so having a good time, good fun time. Uh, yeah, no, more flour. That's probably too thin. I want it to be square though, I want it to be perfect, but nothing ever is. Um, we can make one big lamb spread. If I cut it down and then... You could make six tiny, tiny ones. It could be cute. It could be lambus bread, not for the elves, but for the little pixies. It's either an impersonation of a clanger or a plane. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's an idiot trying to cook. Baking tray. And now we need to oil it up. White wine, white wine vinegar, no, there it is, blind, blind, there we go, um, I presume you want a small bit, I don't think you want that much, you can't see how much I poured, but it's not the amount I meant to pour, and I'll apparently rub it about with a, grease it up. Nice and proper. There you go. I just come across as being really strange whenever I do videos and stuff. I feel that I try to be normal, but I don't want to be, so it doesn't work. Oh no, you pick them up and they crumble. Pop him down there. If this actually looks like I kind of know what I'm doing which is a lie. It looks very homemade. I will do a zoomy close-up thing in a minute so you can actually see and ken the mess I've made. And then I'm putting them in the oven for um, an amount of time that I don't know. About 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna go, um, put them in the oven and see you when they're done. So I took the Lambus bread out of the oven a while ago, like well over an hour. I start I started editing this video. I'm very sorry for how jumping jumpy about it is and all that. I'm not very good at I'm getting a hang hang of it, but because of the type of video it is I had I struggled a bit. Because I don't know how a baking baking is supposed to. I no, I'm talking nonsense now. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet. Right. So they came out of the oven. They look. It's not warm anymore. I can pick it up. They look surprisingly all right. Surprise. They don't smell the greatest, but they don't smell inedible. They look surprisingly all right. Look at that. Oh, the cleverness of me. 
you can tell that it's got a lot of butter in it by looking at it. It just looks like the type of thing that has a lot of butter in it. I don't, I don't know why it just does. Um, and it's all like holy, holy on the back. But hopefully it's a double. Oh. Well, it's crumbly. I've made a mess again. Oh no. Never mind, let's try it. Oh no. <laughs> Big oh no. Well, what can I say about this biscuit? They're foul. Oh my god, I didn't think it would be that bad. Oh, sorry for saying oh my god if you're religious, but crikey, that's awful. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong. Probably everything. I mean, knowing me, it was everything. They're foul! Proper disgusting. I don't know what you'd do to make that all right. Maybe I'd. Well, they'd break where, the, where you scored them like they're supposed to. They just taste like butter. Burnt butter. Well, that was a fail. A strong fail. Nevertheless, I will link recipe below. And if anyone that watches this makes them and they taste all right, or, or you, or has made them has done a different recipe I'm going to link my Facebook below <laughs> and post a picture of them or something like that and comment and comment on <laughs> this is awful I'm very sorry this is a very bad video with a very very bad outcome I didn't think they'd be this bad at all they're not edible. <laughs> I'm eating it, but I don't have a sit down and a cry. You <laughs> can taste the amount of butter in it. Maybe some people like that. I know I burnt them. Maybe you could have them with jam. Thank you for watching. I swear most of the things I do don't go horribly wrong. They usually have their bumps and problems, but they don't go that wrong. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> um, the other day I made a replica. I didn't cook. I didn't cook. I will try to cook again. I have to now to <laughs> un undo the conception that I'm really really bad at baking. I'll have to try and make something else now. I'm gonna give it another go. Not Lambus spread. That's it for Lambus spread now forever. Anyway, the other day I did a video making the cloth doll from The Witcher. I love The Witcher. I love playing The Witcher. It's so cool. Um, so I made that. If you're interested in that type of thing, please watch it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm gonna leave you now, in peace, now that you've seen pure evil is what I'm gonna describe that as, seen me pure evil, um, yeah, oh dear, anyway, thank you for watching my video, I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye. That is proper bad.